Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today, oh wow, today we are doing baddie makeup, baddie Instagram makeup. <laughs> People have asked me to do this makeup and obviously I love the look because it brings out that bad gal Riri in you or just like any sort of rebellious spirit that you would get from wearing a dark lip and some fleeky eyes. So I decided to do a tutorial for it and I'm about to go to an event with some of my friends so I was like, you know what, I gotta look good anyways. I'm gonna do a bad gal look. So this is it. I hope you guys like the look and let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out with my priming spray as usual to get a nice base for my makeup. And then I'm gonna put on my foundation and I do have a foundation routine that's recent on my channel, so you can check that out for more details on how I do that. But I'm just going to do concealer afterwards to kind of perfect my skin because, you know, baddies have perfect skin if you have seen that on Instagram. No flaws. And they have chiseled cheekbones. They have jaw lines. They have everything angular. So we're just going to, to add some angles to our face. And I'm just using this little chubby stick by Clinique, which is mad easy to blend. Looks super cool unblended, but we're going to take care of that with a brush. Trust me, it looks better when it's blended. Then I'm going in with my banana powder because baddies always be baking their faces. And I don't use mine to bake, uh, especially because this is a pressed powder. But I just do it kind of the same way that they do it anyways. I'm using my regular powder too, and now I'm going to add a little bit more to the contour and a slight shimmer with the bronzer. I also did use the banana powder to kind of chisel my cheekbones a little bit more, as you can see on the sides. So now we have a nice, perfect base ready for the rest of the makeup. You want to use a blush that looks good on your skin tone and isn't too obvious, so this one just looked good on my skin and it wasn't saying too much. Now you want to highlight, and as usual, I'm using my favorite highlighter. Uh, by the way, all the products used will be linked in the description box down below so you can find them. And I'm priming my lids so all of my shadow will stick straight to my eyes and it won't go anywhere. Can't have that shadow running away if you're trying to be a baddie. <laughs> now, this is like my favorite palette that I've been using a lot lately. I'm going to use the brown in that. It's a matte brown. All of the colors in this palette are actually matte. Uh, but it's really good for the crease, so I'm putting that in the crease with this little brush and then using a fluffier brush to blend it out and kind of soften that sort of cut crease look. Now I'm using this very shimmery shadow from ColourPop, and I'm applying that with my finger because it doesn't apply very well with a brush just because of the wettish texture, and it applies a lot easier if you just use your finger, so I always do that. You always got to be blending. I'm telling you, if you're not blending, you're falling behind. So, just going back over that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the brown in my outer half of my lower lash line to kind of shape up my eyes and define it a little bit more, which is why I'm also using black liner on only the outer half because I don't want my eyes to look closed off, but I do want to give them some nice definition and just going to tight line as well uh, just for definition. Same reason just on the top and I'm lining all the way through with the tight line. Now I'm going to get a little more of the highlight and apply that right under my brows. This is just going to highlight your brows and give you a little bit more of a pop. And of course you got to do your brows. Instagram brows, maybe. <laughs> or just fill them in however it looks good on you. Um, I love this brow pencil and I think it's my perfect color so I always use this. Just going to do a little bit more blending, making sure it's all perfect. And now, you got to do some liner. You have to do black liquid liner, gottoing it out. It's what all the baddies are doing. <laughs> uh, this liner has a really great formula, which is why I like to use it. And now you got to throw on some lashes, girl. These are Ardell 113s. They're mad dramatic. And I just, I love how they look on my face. Now, this might be the most essential part of the whole look. But you're going to need to have some very dark lips. This could be a black if you really want, but a vampy, purpley, mauve kind of color looks really good. Like a nice wine, like a very deep wine. 
like very, very deep that it might look black in the tube, but then when you put it on, you're like, oh, this isn't black. What is this? That kind of wine. Don't let this color fool you though. This wasn't as good of a product as I thought it was. It was my first time using it and it was just streaky throughout the day. So I don't recommend this one in particular. But that is the look. This is my batty Instagram look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have my other channels linked down below. I have a cooking channel and a vlog channel. Thank you, Chameleons, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.